Hey there, YouTube, and welcome to Altcoin Picks. Today, we're going to have a much positive side of this crypto spectrum. Everything is doing so much better than it was yesterday morning. Although we are seeing some red, it's okay. We have positive news for once. This is awesome to see. We've just been flooded with FUD after FUD after FUD. So it's just nice to see a change of scenery. But before we begin, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't smashed that subscribe button, do so below. Also, I do plan on doing a live feed next week on Monday at 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern. I'm trying to get a little more details from my Discord, deciding if that time is best, what they're wanting me to talk about. I'm thinking of going over my ICO sheet, going in a lot more detail, adding more ICOs. Maybe in real time, we can add a few and calculate what we think their ratings are and talk about crypto news, the cryptocurrency market in general. I think it'd be pretty fun. It would be my very first live show, so I'm pretty excited to do it. Let me know if you're interested at all in the comments below. So let's begin. So first we have Singapore. Their deputy prime minister said in a written response yesterday that crypto and related trading activities do not pose any threat to Singapore's finance system, that they have been closely studying the potential risks that this could be posing to their citizens. And as of now, there is no strong case to ban crypto trading in Singapore. Another positive article we have is experts or crypto experts predict 2018 bull run, Bitcoin to $50,000 and overall market cap of $1 trillion. So Jamie Burke, CEO at Outliners Ventures, told CNBC that he believes in February that the market will likely go on a bull run comparative, if not greater than last year's potentially reaching $1 trillion dollars before a crypto winter sets in where the market becomes more focused on proper market fundamentals. And then Thomas Glutzman, which is head of APAC at Gatecoin, he sees regulation, the intro of in institutional money, tech advances like the Lightning Network as the main factor for the crypto rise. And he sees no reason why Bitcoin couldn't hit $50,000 by December. And then also we have a guy named Ran Runer. I think that's his name. He's the host of CNBC, the show Crypto Trader. He pinned a tweet on February 1st predicting that Bitcoin will be hitting $50,000 by the end of 2018. $1 trillion is a pretty nice market cap. We actually almost hit that already. I'm pretty sure we'll hit there. I think we could hit there way before the end of 2018, but we'll see. With all this FUD, it's kind of hard to be that optimistic in my opinion. So now we have Forbes. They post an article for the very first time. We have the richest people in cryptocurrency. We have several names here that I'm sure many of us know. We have Vitalik, of course, the creator of Ethereum. Chang Pen Zhao, he's the CEO of Binance. The Winkervoss twins, they were just in the news not too long ago for being billionaires in the crypto space. Chris Larson, he's the co-founder of Ripple. Brian Armstrong, he's the CEO of Coinbase. Antonio Delori, he is a co-founder of Ethereum and advisor to many ICOs. So many of these guys are multi-billionaires from crypto. That's awesome to see that they are getting the attention from Forbes and people can see that this isn't fake money. This is actual money that people are getting super rich in. And here we go. So more interesting stats from this article. It's, it's a pretty short article, but... They're showing that the average age for the crypto richest people compared to the Forbes 400 is 42 years old to 67 years old. The minimum amount needed to make the list was $350 million. And like I said, what I love about this article and that Forbes is finally taking a positive spotlight, it's what we need. We need that positive spin on crypto that people are making money. It's not some monopoly money or fake money or scam. There are people making a huge amount of riches and it's here to stay. So what do you think? I, I think this is awesome. Now on to my ICO sheet. So this is all updated. These are completed ICOs. We're gonna add more to this so we can keep gauging to make sure that this is the best formula possible to find the best ICOs possible to invest in. Right now we have Wanchain at 108%. This is the highest I've been able to get any of them. It's a little high to me, but WanChain is an exceptional project, possibly the best 2017 ICO. So I'm okay with giving it a 
108%. We're looking at the hard cap, the ICO price, the supply, if they have a prototype. So this is pretty big to us, whether they have a live prototype, alpha or beta, or if they just don't in general. Then what kind of project they have, how huge of an impact do they have on the crypto space? the team, their advisors, and then just more information that we're updating. And here's the ICOs that we have already completed. Also, the guy that's helping me, his name is Joshua. I think it's Agua Davinos. I said that wrong, Joshua, I'm sorry. He's awesome, check him out, message him or me if you have any questions or if you'd like to help. We need as many people as possible. The more people we have, the more ICOs we can put in here the more accurate I feel we can try to make this sheep. I would love as much help as possible. Joshua, you're awesome. Thank you so much for everything you've done so far. So here's what we have so far. We have credits and, co and Coinvest at 91.3% with Dether only hitting 56%. Again, we're looking at a multiple array of things, hard cap, token supply, the project, the team. I do want to add more. This is why you need more people. And then on Monday when we have our live stream, we're going to go on into this way more in depth so we can figure out what else we can add if we need to add anything else to make this ICO sheet unique and as best as possible and as accurate as possible for all of us so we all benefit. Again, I would love all your input. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button. Come to my Discord, my Facebook. It's all in my description. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.